me eat a eat up. Okay, well. That may be about the best we'll get. Without, you know, eating it up. Steak time and making the steak is easy, it's not as hard as some will make it out to be. I'm simply just gonna, I've already put most of it on here. I'm uh, putting a little bit of olive oil on each side of the steak and on the sides, around the sides, because you're gonna season the whole steak and you kind of want to give it something to adhere to. So, first thing we're gonna do, we gotta grease heating up. And we're going to salt this steak real good. It's about a, I guess an inch and a half. It looks to be about an inch and a half. So if you got a big steak, go ahead and season it. Put, put something on it. I mean, come on now. You don't have to go out and get a steak. Uh, definitely, if you want it cooked right. If you want it cooked right, you kind of need to do it yourself. Cause that's the only way it's gonna be right. Cause when you go out, it's gonna be too done, not done enough, too medium rare. It's just not gonna be like you'd like it. Even though you ask for it exactly like you'd like it, it's just it's not gonna be that. So it's best to just take it out of the fridge. Go ahead and get a room temperature. Yeah. Almost like if you were making a cake. Get a room temperature. You want to get a room temperature because you don't want it. You don't want to cook a cold steak. You don't want the heat to be coming all the way up so that you might have a perfect steak. So that's why you want to get it room temperature. And uh, don't forget. To do each side of the steak. Go ahead and put seasoning all the way around. Because you're going to eat it all the way around. So you want it good all the way around. Right? Yeah, right. I know. Okay. So I think I got it on there pretty good. What do you got, steak? You're looking at it. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, looks pretty good. That's pretty thick. Uh, you know, if I take, well, my finger here, it comes up almost halfway, so that might be two inches. I don't know how I went over my two minutes, half minutes. So, that's okay though, because this steak is thick. What we're going to do, we're going to stick back on here. Flip it up. Boy, it don't end with this. Man, that is a super sear, y'all. Super sear. Oh, yeah.
we're just uh, tearing sides a little bit. We want to get that done. We want to render all this back. We're going to go out and do this thing. We've got a bunch of that in. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's long enough, friends. Now we're gonna put her in the oven where she belongs. She wants to be in the oven. And we're gonna put her in there about mm, six minutes. Yep, that's all. Six minutes. Let's get into this hide piece. 
I call a hide because, man, it's a little more than that other one. But guess what? It's still juicy. Yeah, it's still juicy. But one more. It's just juicy, y'all. Look at there. Look at there. Just look at this. So cool. It's Medium rare, yeah. Well, it ain't rare. I don't eat no rare steak. But just look at this thing. Look at all the juice. I don't know. I might as well taste a bite of this. You know. Take a bite out of crying. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is good. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm sure I have. Took this out of the oven. It might be five minutes. Okay. You guys, that's the end of the film. Cause, uh, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, bye-bye. See you next time.